So let's do two with chimps. This is something I've been meaning to do for a while, but I just didn't want to copy other people who have done this challenge before and use their two tower loadout. So I think so far, the combos that have been completed with two towers only is one, nuclear sub and uh, anti balloon, two, perma spike and wizard lord phoenix, and number three, arc mage and apache prime. So what I'm thinking, I think what might work is a combination of the latter two that I mentioned. So uh, we're talking Wizard Lord Phoenix plus Apache Prime, yes. Those two. So yes, Wizard Lord Phoenix is actually good. It's not a meme. The only issue is that like the ability is only up very, very, very short amount of time. So that's why it's still not that great. But when it's up, it's extremely powerful. We obviously gotta start with the wizard. For purples, we're gonna need to get a heli, which will be a 5-2-0, I think. Just cause um, well we need the camo. Even though the 5 0 1 the Apache Prime is stronger, well you gotta find something for camos, and you just can't rely on the Phoenix. So there was another combo that I was thinking might work, although the issue is right now, um, it doesn't work because Ninja Kiwi's patch notes either lied, or they didn't fall through on what their uh, new change was. So I was also thinking Blue Cineration, the new tier 5 mortar, it would help a lot in this uh, 2 tower challenge, although the issue is right now, it does 0 damage to DDTs. And I thought it would do damage to DTs, like, without a mid, because the patch notes, they say, it says right in the patch notes, the balloon incineration can now affect all types of balloons. So I thought that included DTs, but apparently, DT doesn't count as a balloon. Let's get intense magic, fuck it. We probably need it. So all we need to care about is we gotta save up, uh, 1620 for round 25, aka purples. Because, you know, obviously the wizard can't pop that. God damn, this intense magic is good. So we just gotta beat 14, 15, I think, and then we're gonna be able to get this, uh, this heli. Fuck. Yellow. Same yellow. Come on, bruh. Again. Come on now. Zutu 1. Alright. Even though it's RNG based, it should help us a lot this round. As long as it's all the intersections, then it's pretty much perfect. Although, if it's in the middle, if it's in, like, no man's land, like there. Then that's a bad thing. But yeah, let me try going for the uh, heli now. I think we can afford both monkey tent and heli by 25. Alright, heli now, let's get it. Doesn't matter where you place it. All we gotta do, I'm gonna just be lazy. I'm unlocking a place in the middle here. Just because after we get this heli and camo on this guy, we actually should be pretty set for the next uh, couple rounds. By couple, I mean probably 40 50 rounds. The goal right now probably get Apache and then Apache Prime, because there's a huge gap between upgrading the Phoenix to the Wizardler Phoenix. Like, we're talking a $4,000 upgrade to a jump to 64000 so that's a huge power swing, which we really can't save up for immediately. So what we gotta do first is get a 420 uh, heli, and probably Pursuit, yeah. We'll get Pursuit, of course. In fact, let me do that right now, once I afford this guy. Yeah, honestly, Dragon's Breath is probably decent now. It's got a lot of buffs. Like, it got buffed to the Wallfire too, so the Wallfire you get, if you buy this upgrade, also gets stronger. So, like, this guy over here. This flaming hot pile of, uh, Balloon Palm Power. But I don't know if it's worth it still. Never really tested. And Razor. So Apache, 21,060 bucks. Did the price go up or down? Oh yeah, I think the price went up. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because I'm not sure if a 320 heli plus a 022 wizard can sell until we get $21,000. It's gonna be a pretty tall task, if you ask me. But yes, they did increase the um, cost of the Apache, but they also increased the damage of it by a lot, which I guess overall is a good thing. I mean, the thing is, we also gotta save up $50,000 for the Apache Prime, so it might be a good thing that we get a stronger Apache, just in exchange for like a couple extra thousand dollars that we gotta pay for the Apache. But it just came to me, it just occurred to me recently that these two towers also might work. I mean, if uh, Archmage plus uh, Apache Prime works, why wouldn't Wizard Will of Phoenix? I mean, after all the buffs now, WLP is now stronger than the Archmage by far when it's active. The only issue is when it's active. But the thing is, you can pick and choose when to use it. This, this map is also really long, so if you use it at the start of the round, you might even get it back up again by the time uh, the balloons exit. So in that case... It's not all that bad that the uptime is not too long. Yeah, no mark of this round. This round is pretty tough. Ceramics. Back to Fall Mouse. 
So Razor, you just want to have your heli shooting over the over the towers. So that actually makes Pursuit on the Razor Rotors really awful. Like, if you're using Razor Rotors on Pursuit, either you're stupid or you're lazy. I, for one, and the latter. 43 cleared. I'm just going to micro the heli now, because we're actually really close to affording the Apache Prime, or the Apache. We got $8,000 to go. So, 49 gives us a ton of cash. So that's gonna probably be the round where we forward it. This round is also pretty tough. Oh, we just gotta hope for good RNG on the fire, which right now, that is solid RNG. Probably about as good RNG as you can ask for. The only issue is there's a lot of bloom, so I'm not sure. Again, just gotta keep hoping for good placements, and right now, it's doing exactly what I hope it should be. No! Ugh. 50-50 chance it goes on the bottom path there, but we did not get it that time. Okay, this time we got really good RNG, and that's going to be 47. And now we're 3,000 short of it, okay. Nice. So after this round, we can afford it. Assuming we beat it, this round got to a lot of rainbows. Alright, 21.06. And just a little bit more cash, come on. After we pop these rams here, we should afford the Apache. And then we can just go back to AFK mode. There we go. Patchy dart chip on pursuit, and yep, AFK time. I'll see you guys when we need to uh, do something. Fortified Mob actually got almost the entire way through the track. Jesus. And how about this round? It should be pretty easy, right? And uh, there's actually a lot of uh, blacks and zebras. The explosions don't affect uh, blacks or zebras, as expected. That's how it should work thematically. But yeah, this round's actually a lot harder than it looks like, or I thought the patchy would do a lot better. Really hope the AP is affordable at 76. Oh yeah, for sure. We're only thousand dollars off. I think the BFP will give us 400 cash, right? Let's see. How much money you got in ya? Actually, not a whole lot, but I think the end of round cash will get us enough money for the 520 by 75. Good timing. Good timing because uh, 75 is a really tough round, and I'm not even sure if the 420 could solo that round. But now, there is only one linear solution to this challenge, and that is Dragon's Wrath. Phoenix, and then ultimately, Wizlord Phoenix. So, warning, warning, the end of the game, the last 10 rounds are going to be really hard, or I think it's going to be hard at least, just because like, you gotta, you really gotta time your ability properly, just so, say for example, I use the Phoenix on 70 or 98, but then I won't have it on 99, that's the issue. Although, not to worry, I did try in Sandbox, I was able to beat it, but just barely, for those rounds. But yes, it will be tough. 64,800, oh man. Now I did check like the amount of money again, chimps. And I think we barely got it by 95. So hopefully my math is correct here. And if my math is correct here, we should afford the Wizard Phoenix by 95. Which is pretty much the round where you want to get it on. Because you cannot beat 95 with this uh, 520. DTs, man. They're just way too good. You can stall the cooldown with Heli too. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. That is a great thing with this combo. You can move your heli away while this uh, Phoenix is on cooldown, so that you get it up for the next round. So we might need to do that, yeah. We're definitely going to have to get rid of uh, Pursuit Mode here. Not yet, obviously. These rounds are like, chumps. Chumps mode. You see the Apache Prime is actually not doing so hot. Not so hot. Apache Prime not so hot versus 91 or 90. Only 3 DTs took it to halfway. So imagine 93. Granted, it's on Pursuit, so that's why it's that's why it's really useless right now. It looks complete garbage, but don't worry. If you use your own micro, it's a lot better than it looks. So we're about 15 shorts, and we need in three rounds. Oh boy. We need 5k per round. And I swear to god I did crunch numbers correctly. I did, didn't I? This round might be tough with uh, Pursuit. Holy crap. I completely forgot about 92. Oh jeez, those fortified Rams are... Really spooky. We might need to get rid of Pursuit Mode. Really, Prime Apache? Don't do this to me. Don't do this. Alright, thank god. Alright, we're 10k short. Two rounds, 93. Oh yeah, Pursuit is terrible, look at that, look at that. We definitely probably gotta restart this round without Pursuit. Or do we? Is Phoenix helping? Okay, never mind. No, no, no restart, but that was actually really close. So, if you could imagine 60 six ETs took that long, yeah, no chance, 95. We might be short, but the good thing is 94 gives us a lot of cash. 
We need $8,000 this round. There's a few ZMGs, that's not enough. No, fuck. We might have to buy mid-round. That's gonna be... Is that even doable? Hold on. Well, if we have the ability up, we're $1,000 shorts. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. How much money do those perps give us? Come on. We are 400. Is it really that close? 200. 200 now. Please last longer wave. Eh, 100. Get him warmer, but there's no purples though. Fuck. Wow. $60. You gotta be kidding me. So let's get the money from 1 DT, or 2, or 3. Hurry up. Bye. Oh my fucking god, the cooldown. No. The cooldown. Guys. You have gotta be shitting me. Another initial cooldown. Is this the reason we're gonna lose? I don't think we can do this. There's a long time left. It's not even close. I have no idea if we use the ability, if we get the same cooldown, but I'll try, for sure. Alternatively, we could just not get Monkey Sense, so... We could go for the 0 to 0 heli, um, before 24. Assuming we can afford it, so WLP, come on, give me the money. Same cooldown, same cooldown. It's no difference. Well, shit. I don't think we do this. Wow. I'm cheesed. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste time here. We can't do this. Bunch of BS. $100. So if we just mix a match, here's what's gonna happen on 95. We're gonna have a 0 5 one uh, Phoenix. But the thing is, the Phoenix cannot pop DTs because there's no camo. So what we gotta do is we also gotta pop the first two DTs with the Apache Prime. And then buy camo, and then immediately activate WLP. And I hope that saves us. Goddamn. It's a game of inches, honestly. Regrows, okay. Because we don't have a camo on the wizard there, we gotta be careful for Regrows here, so I gotta leave this thing shooting down a straight line. Otherwise, Regrows are gonna fuck me up real bad. Although not too bad, not too bad. Okay, that'll take care of the camo regrow purples. And now we can upgrade this guy, probably in the middle of this round. So just wait a little bit more, there we go. Here's the thing I don't get. If a tier 4 ability is already off cooldown, why should buying a tier 5 take it off cooldown? Because, like, doesn't the Summon Phoenix already have an initial cooldown? So why does it need 2 if it's already gated by a, a cooldown, you know? Just make the cooldown the same when you upgrade it. Like, even having that would have saved us if we got it immediately. I just don't know why it works that way. So if you buy it now, see? Initial cooldown. I just don't understand why you gotta wait again. Because you can't really abuse that. You can't really abuse it if you, like, buy and resell. I know the reason why they did that, to get the uh, cooldowns. They did it so, like, you can't buy and resell that quickly. Like you can in battles. But you can't abuse it in this case, because, like, you still gotta wait for the cooldown here. It just doesn't make sense to have this one gated. So, yeah, that's a rip. Alright. Back to square one. And this time, we're only $200 short at the start of the round, which is a lot better. Way better than before. So, apparently... Apparently, you don't need camo for the wizard to pump DTs. But again, I'm just gonna wait to uh, um, buy camo before I activate it, just in case. If it don't work, we'll just try without without buying it. So, come on, monkey sense. There we go, activate. And will it defeat this round? Can we salvage this? Come on. Come on, WLP. Oh, yeah. That is a lot of damage, guys. Holy shit. So, if you're not aware how much they buffed this goddamn upgrade... They did a lot of buffing. Now we just gotta make sure to survive these rounds, so I'm gonna take off Pursuit. I'm gonna micro for the rest of this game here. 96 is kinda tough, there's a lot of fortified, uh, Moabs. I'm definitely gonna use the ability. Or do I? Yeah, probably just to be safe, holy crap. Look at the- look at how many friggin' uh, Moabs are there, holy crap. The good thing is 97 is pretty easy, so I probably don't need to use, uh, the wizard. So yeah. Look at how much damage it does. Goddamn. But, the round I'm worried about is 98 and 99. Because if I don't have the ability by 99, then I'm dead. So I gotta use the ability at the start of 98, I think. And then we'll just stall the, like, the last of the round. Let the Apache Prime deal with it. Alright, and after this, 98 starts. So what should we do? Should we activate immediately? I wanna say yes. I'm gonna do it now, now, now. So this will pretty pretty much destroy everything, guys. Look, just watch. Goddamn destruction everywhere. Tens of thousands per second. 
Although I see this round, hold on, wait a minute. That was not enough, no. It did not last long enough, no. That's still a lot of BFBs, fuck. I think we used it a little too early there, but let's see. Can the Apache Prime deal with the rest of this round? And there's about 10 left. I don't know. We're running out of space. And this stretch here is going to be the toughest part. Although I think we got this. I think we got this. Guys. There's like one fortified BB left after this. If we beat this, then we're Gucci. Yeah, man. Oh, last band, last band. Mm, no, no, no. Yeah, let's do this. Let's let the Apache deal with the first couple BFEs. Just so the Phoenix does not waste his, like, uh, attacks on these things. Because these guys, I'm sure the Apache can deal with just fine. So we'll let it pop, like, a few first. Just a couple. So how many do I want before I activate? Maybe one more, or two more? Let's pop it one more, yeah. Let's get one more or two more. How about now? Yeah, now. Let's go. We also gotta make sure not to kill the entire round, alright? I don't think it will, but if it does, then we gotta restart. Because I need this guy for 99. And this time, holy crap, I think all the BBs are dead. Please disappear, Phoenix, so I can stall the round. Okay. That's okay. We got one ZMG stalled, or very, very, very... Moving very slowly. That's good. And yeah, we'll just stall the round as long as we can. Because right now we got very, very, very few balloons to deal with. So we'll take our time here, take our time. And I think we'll have the Phoenix back in time, yeah. Plenty of time. It's all cool down. Now we can just put it back to normal. And that's actually a lot, a lot better way to deal with this round, yeah. Mid-round better than the, the start of the round, for sure. So, Wizard Lord Phoenix OP? I think so. And this round, really easy. Just activate once it comes out, like now. So, as for the bad, I'm not really that worried. You see, even with Fortifieds, Fortified DTs, there's still a struggle for the, the Phoenix. But, alas, overall makes pretty quick work. And last round. And this, guys, Wizard Lord Phoenix, Apache Prime. Two really cheap, really shitty towers, when the game came out, are now capable of beating Chimps on their own. Is that not impressive? And DDTs are gonna come out, so we're gonna make sure to have the Phoenix up for when that happens. So, does now seem fine? Yeah, now, Phoenix, DDTs, there we go, easy. And two ZMGs left. And that's gonna do it, guys. This is the fourth combo that beats Chimps Mode. And our Insta, which is very fitting, Kappa, 302 Dart, and GG.